Hi everyone, this is Shalona. We're at Belle Soir Studios and welcome back to my channel. So today what we'll be doing is a review on the Rev Air. I have had it now for about six weeks or so and um, I really got to test it out and see what I like about it, what I think could improve and all of that. So um, I'm also gonna do like a live demo on how it works. So my hair is a little bit damp right now. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit frizzy. So we'll get to see how it works. Um, so far though, I do like it. Um, I wouldn't say it's for everyone. I think it's more beneficial for those with curly hair or really thick hair um, where it really helps cut down the blow dry time. Now, um, as far as that is being said, um, I think it's also very useful for those who have damaged hair uh, in which you wanna like have your hair nice and neat and straight um, and not damage it so much with heat. I think it would be useful for that and um, Lately, I've been just loving it for doing my keratin treatments. I am highly allergic to a lot of things, so I think that this actually helps, you know, cut down on the fumes, cut down on everything that's going at your face. So for that, I love it. Um, that being said, uh, this is kind of what it looks like. It's huge. Um, like that's my face this is the rev air it's huge it's a little bit heavy so it's definitely an equipment that um, is better for keeping at home it's not very portable so you won't be able to take it on vacation with you but I mean for me as somebody who works at a salon that's fine because I can keep it here and take it out whenever we need to um, so the thing that I have uh, to say is that uh, it's a little bit difficult to do on yourself. Um, on clients, it's easy because I can, I have the control, you know, I can put it, you know, behind, like go like this, go like that, go on top of their head. But on yourself, as you can tell, it's a little bit hard to maneuver. <laughs> um, if you're wondering what's happening, I actually film here. This is a window, so um, it's a little bit bright outside, so this is what happens. Um, so I'm just keeping that shade in. Uh, so I'm just going to show you real quick how it works. I usually like, so there's a little lever, I mean not a lever, but like a power button right here. And that's how it glows, it means it's on. And then there's another control part right over here. That's how much suction power you're gonna be getting. Um, so I like to uh, go heavy real quick, but um, I also don't have a lot of hair. So usually with long hair, I'll start with the two, put it in and then crank it up to maybe four or five. But for my short hair, since there's not much that really gets tangled, I like to crank it up quite high. So this turns it on. It sounds just like a vacuum because that is pretty much what you're doing to your hair is you're sucking up all moisture out of it and what happens is that not only is it sucking up the moisture, it's also closing down that cuticle and it leaves the hair quite nice and shiny. Um, so that's the, the first two controls and here um, the handheld part uh, is the heat. So this is cold. That's warm warmer and this is you know slight warmth um so you know let's say i had someone with fine hair um uh, i would probably just keep it at that if they don't need anything too strong and then um if i were to do somebody with like really curly hair i would crank it up to this uh and then this one if, if i just want to cool the hair down i like to use the second one on me just because I do still have like some of that wave there and I want to get rid of it so right now I've only washed my hair with unwash 
that's a non blathering shampoo so it's like a shampoo conditioner type thing so I mean it, it's in pretty good moisture amounts and nothing else so there's just a little bit of dampness there I might have to re-dampen it just because my hair dries really quickly um, not to mention I used a little bit of no blow on it which makes your hair dry quite a lot quicker and um, let me show you what I like to use I either like to use this one this is called a no blow no more blow and this actually is supposed to help your hair air dry quicker but I found that it also helps your hair blow dry quicker so <laughs> I use it for that and I also have this product right here it's called good behavior so this kind of mimics um, how a keratin might work for your hair so it helps blow like it helps your hair kind of blow dry as if you have a keratin now it's not a substitute for keratin treatment but it is a good like you know if you're you don't want to do it um, it's good for those who with slight wave and they just want a little bit of help so I either use this or this um, now I do feel like this uh, kind of really like it it's true that it does keep your hair nice and smooth so if I wanted to curl it later it doesn't hold as well I feel um, so I'm gonna use the no blow today okay and So now we have some of that in. I'm just gonna go ahead and bite and unblock. see I'm just feeding it through the nozzle and then going all the way to the root holding it there for a bit and just kind of letting the rev air suck it up and make it smooth so here you can see I'm just letting the rev air pretty much suck up the hair and then I'll just pull it to the root in different angles to really get in there. The back of course. So the reason why I keep touching my scalp is just to check how dry it feels. And here on the back where I don't have much hair, I'm just literally letting it just suck it up again. I'm just feeling around trying to find wavy pieces so what I do like about it is even though it's a rough dry it does get pretty smooth so when I rough dry with a blow dryer it's like a big giant frizz but when I rough dry with this it's half of the work is done for me when I go back in to straighten it some more or curl it, I don't have to work so, so hard to get that frizziness out. And I just enjoy it so much. One thing that you have to remember is that when you're drying your hair, you do have to start off with damp hair you know preferably like a really good towel dry so that when it's revved up in there it really gets that nice smooth finish and mine was already half dry before I started 
final thoughts are that um, as a salon professional, this could definitely be useful to you, especially for that keratin or a very curly hair when you're just trying to get at the root without trying to um, burn them. I love it for that. Um, what things do I think can improve? I think this nozzle area can definitely, um, I don't know if there's any way to size this down or make it less cumbersome, like, but um, this I feel could definitely use like, there's a filter here by the way, I'm just checking if it's all right. Um, this definitely could use a little finagling with, you know, in future, in the future, uh, what is it called? I guess models. Um, here, I feel like this should be a little bit more, um, I guess it should have a little swivel here just so that it's not so hard as you can see, like it's not very flexy up top. Um, would I, would I return it? No. Um, would I purchase it? Um, yes. But you have to remember that um, I like to use it on certain clients. Now, if it were for myself, having short hair, um, I think it's a lot easier to just use a blow dryer, honestly. Um, I could just go like that and I'm gonna straighten it anyway. I have, you know, I have, access to really good conditioning treatments and I get haircuts often so damage is not really a thing that I'm concerned with but if you have um, if you have longer hair or let's say like very very dried out hair I think this would be great for you uh, who else could use it let's see um, if you like your hair straight if you if that's how you wear your hair all the time and you really like it silky and shiny and you have like you know medium wavy to like straight-ish hair and you really don't like the flyaway or the frizz this is great um what else like who wouldn't i get it for i mean if you have a pixie cut i don't think i think you should just get a blow dryer that's more useful to you because then you can you know do it with a brush um it would be pretty interesting to see if like they can get different attachments to this that could give you like more volume up top um, now i mean don't judge this by how i blow dried my hair because i definitely did it the lazy way but let's be honest most people would probably do it the lazy way at home when they're in a rush so uh, you know trying to be realistic here um and uh yeah, so I mean, I like it just because that got my hair fairly smooth, fairly quickly. And um, all I would have to do is maybe take an iron at like maybe 350 degrees and just finish it up. So I hope you guys liked that quick review. Well, not so quick, but that review on the Rev Air. Um, I actually went on to do this look, so watch out for the next video and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody! Ooh.